G'day everyone, Raid Zero AU, and welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival in Alpha 8, the anniversary update. And, uh, did a little bit of mining overnight. Uh, just mined a bit of the copper, the iron, and the silicon. Not all of it, just a, just a bit to get us started. Uh, got up making some things in here. So we'll let it keep doing that. It is going to want us to make a capacitor and a solar panel, if I remember correctly. Uh, I want we do four of those, maybe. We'll probably do to start with. And we are going to want a large constructor. Now I've also, uh, off camera, I've made projectile pistol and I've unlocked and made the uh, shotgun and and some ammo to go with those so we're able to defend ourselves a bit better now it wants us to go to the alien tower now it's saying that we should probably make some light armor and that's probably a good idea uh, the only thing is we're only level three and we need level five to get armor so I'm figuring you know what let's just head over there What's the worst that can happen? Gives us a chance to have a bit of a look around. See what we can find. Now, I haven't got a detector on me or at the moment so I can't see on the mini-map anywhere. We've got some natives back there that we just passed. There's the alien tower. Luckily not too far away. Only a couple of k's away. the way bug <laughs> We're almost there there it is there is a signal coming from inside. It's a strong signal like that. Now we have, uh, for those that have been watching the series, we have done this bit before. But we'll run through it. So, we just drop down here. That closes up. No, no, no. Walk up to this one. Oh, there we go. Flick that on. Symbols are unknown, also seem heavily weathered. Tower must be very old. Also, uh, radiation around the place. Maybe a grave and memorial. One symbol group is repeated. Alright, so the red one is going to explode, or near it's going to explode. There we go. That's where we've got to be careful with these things. Crawler. Hello. Uh, didn't get hit. Nice. Uh. Eight degrees here, so be a little bit careful with the temperature. Aha, second one. Ah, I got poisonous bite. Bugger up. Fit level four. Anti toxic or detox kit. Luckily, we got an anti toxic. Anti radiation pills. <sighs> Alright, well, they got rid of that. So that's good. Now, this is a nice rock up here. I'm just going to go and grab this because we are going to need the rock. Oh, might grab the. 
few fibers around. Which is, looks like there's a few rocks around here. I won't. I'll just grab this one. a bit more crushed rock uh, just go have a look to see what's up here so we're getting up towards the polar regions Some rocks around All right, plenty of rocks out here to mine so I can do that off camera I won't spend my time Mining rocks on camera. We've got probably better things we can be doing. Alright, so tundra, and that goes up to the polar cap. Okay. Well, let's have a look at our map. So, this is where we landed. Come up to here. About we let's head down here. Just check out that side of the uh, of the lake on our way back home. Uh, we're up to tactical retreat, so it wants us to head back. get out of the cold biomes as well. Considering we got we haven't got any protection for it. Okay. Alright, I've got a copper oh hang on. Is that moving? We've got a drone. Alright, so we found another copper deposit, which is nice. Right, minigun drone. Let's. Only what? Remembering we've got no armor, so we need to get underneath that and then deal with it. Where's he gone? There he is. Don't let him get far enough. You don't want to get him. Let him get target on you. Oh, hang on. We got one of these dudes here as well. Uh, hello. Hello. What are they? Pangolin. Hello. Oh, you don't look happy. You don't look very happy at all. Oh, I think I want to uh, use a health pack here. <laughs> Increase my health. This could go terribly wrong. Let's get a headshot. Yeah, uh, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. So I believe these guys replaced the Triceratops, and we got the Crash DSE mid there. Not much we can do about that until. We have some armor, uh, fuel, and some minigun. So yeah, can't do much about that until we uh, we get our armor. Uh, I suppose we could grab some of these just for mainly for the XP at the moment. They're probably going to get they'll probably spoil before we get a chance to use them properly. All right. Okay. So uh, that's a drone and a pang pangolin. Or pangolin. Do it with. Lots of sand around, but it's all. Oh, there's another one there. Should we? Should we see if our, if we still have luck with these guys? So it's two shots to the head. Got rid of this guy. Come on, have a look at me. Thank you. 
So not too bad. Not as scary as they first appear. Using the shotgun anyway. So yeah, we got some sand here, but this is just beach. Is it all beach? Yep. What about this stuff up here? Ah. Let's just go back down here. We've got a slime here. Slimes are generally pretty good because if you come up behind them, you can one-shot them. Right, we got level five. Good for XP. So you can one-shot them using the uh, using the shotgun. This is sand here, so nice. That's actually not too far away from home. Where are we? 1.6 away from home. So it might be worth coming out here at night and seeing if we can't hunt down some golems or something. Looks like it's a fairly large sand patch as well. It goes all the way out here. Some other rocks we can uh, be mining out here as well, so we might have to do a bit of golem hunting. Alright, it's good to know. Good to know what we've got nearby. So I think we can just head back to base now. Or back to the wreckage. Sir, want to look at me? Have a look at me, buddy. Oh, oh, what the hell? What else hit me? Or did he hit me from afar? That was weird. That was uh, quite weird. Let's uh, start doing some healing. Another one over there. Alright, so it seems like there's a few of those things around. And it seems like, just be a little bit careful, they, they can hit hard. Get out of the way. do hit quite hard at times so right, so we should be able to come around here and not have to get off our bike that's if, we, that's if we don't run into things come on and these bugs Capacitor. Should already have that done. Uh, we're almost done. Uh, what I will do is we got some eggs, but they're probably 13 minutes on that, 14 minutes on that. So we're going to make some food out of those. and all that okay so let's start think about now what is that east and west that's kind of a, all right 
So we want to put our core down. And okay, energy signals. Uh, got our equipment, weapons on a hover vessel. We'll get around to it. Right, there's our core. Uh, concrete blocks for the flooring. Three, seven wide. Seven wide, five deep. Probably. Hmm. You're going to let me do that, are you? You're in the way. Oh, it will. Alright, we'll move that afterwards. Just get the flooring in. Go. There. And there. Alright, let's swap that to... Steel blocks. And we can... Let's... Let's curve the sides a little bit. Bring it up three. That and cap them off with Those trying hard not to misplace one at this point because that would just be painful simply because we don't have access to the multi tool. I have unlocked it, but we don't have any Prometheum, obviously, so we can't make the uh, charges for it. So we'd have to use the uh, scavenging tool, uh, the scavenging mode on the uh, survival tool. It's just a bit more painful to use. Okay. And then we can block that in. Like so. Uh, now. Probably the back here, just for the moment. I reckon we just block the whole thing in. I can come over. Just go like that. Do the same here. This needs to come over. I can go like that. That's going to be the door. Block that side and that side in. Okay, there's our basics. So there's that. Right, got some food, which is nice. That will give us a bit of healing as well. And also, uh, we get the well fed buff as well. Uh, in here we now want to make a door and two of those. Get rid of that, bring that down, let's put a, uh, a ramp in just for ease of access. Okay, so in here First things we're going to need to put down is the constructor. And then we're going to need to put the capacitor. The capacitor could probably go up here.
Something like that. Uh, and then we want to start looking at these. Now how are we going to do these ones? do is we'll pop those there spin that round I can probably go there <laughs> we drone out of control warning Pop that one there. We're going to be generating huge amounts, but it's a start. Okay. So that can be, uh, that should be starting to build up some power. Now, door, windows. Let's take everything out of that. And go down there. Uh, was there anything else up here? back we don't need those up there all right first thing we want to make here is we are going to want let's see miscellaneous no it's be under weapons need to unlock the light armor we want to unlock we can unlock the assault rifle tier two uh, we might not be able to make that just yet. We will unlock it. Multi tool or scanner detector. Uh, base. Let's unlock the small generator and a fuel tank. I'm going to need that. Unlock the cannon turret. Food processor, armor locker. Now, are we going to be able to fit all this in here? That is the next question. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze. Definitely going to need a cargo box. Um, we are going to need cannon turret. At least one of those. Followed by some ammo, light armor, armor locker, uh, do, 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 do. we're going to need an ammo box as well, food processor, we'll try for a generator and a fuel tank, come back in here, miscellaneous, we need the small ammo box. And we're going to need a small ammo box. We're going for power. We're at one percent. Not ideal at all. What we can do is we can stick our door in and window in there. Be able to stick a window in here somewhere. <laughs> no, it's not going to let me do it from this side. I have to do it from outside. We 
haven't powered this thing up yet. Okay. Yep. You can go in there. Alright, so that should be nicely enclosed. We should be able to pick this thing up now. Have we got... Let's grab that. Anything else in here? No. Okay. And you can then just be put down again there. We will... I can drop that in. I'm going to take a little bit of the wood. Actually, going to. Let's power this thing up. Let's get it starting to build. You can go in there and you can make some biofuel for me. And I reckon that's a pretty good start so far. So now we're just waiting for this to produce and it will all depend on the power. We want to get the defenses up on this thing in case we get drone attacks. Although the first drone attack is normally fairly light. It's normally only one drone. So we could probably deal with that ourselves. Um, that'd be nice to have at least one up there. So, I reckon that's where I'm going to call this episode, guys. Bit of a shorter one today. But we got a fair bit done in a shorter, short amount of time. So, um, not much else to do at the moment except sort of wait it out and let these things... See, we've run out of power now. So that's okay. Just got to wait for these things to be um, produced. Let's stick our... Um, See a cargo box in there. That gives us uh, an area to be able to at least drop some stuff in. These ones I'll just drop in there. They will go bad, but I'm not too fussed about that. You can go in there. And we've dropped below 485. So what I can do is eat something else. And I will continue to uh, heal. Close our doors here. And um, because this is powered off, it's not maintaining its temperature in here, but it's not too bad. What we could do is sleep through the night. So, hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid Zero AU, signing out.